All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to show you how to defend your villages very easily in uh, Minecraft Legends. So I did a couple of tests. I made some walls. I made some gates. But I'll be honest with you, the only thing you really need is these basic arrow, arrow towers. These right here will do the job just fine. As you can see, I have a ton of them in this, um, what's it called, in this village. And usually, if I ever get the notice that an attack is coming, I'm just going to pop into the village and literally add like 10 more, just in case. And usually, they will just hold out and uh, defeat any wave that comes its way, right? It's literally all you have to do. As you can see, this one is um, situated like this. Obviously, suggest put, you put your carpenter's hut, like, you know, put a couple of these guys down just so they can heal, like, the towers. I might put another one down right over here. Just so the towers heal and all you have to literally do is just place them down put a little space in between them make it harder for the enemies to attack some of them are going to get taken out during the siege but i'll be honest with you if you have like 20 or 30 of these up you really are not going to uh lose any siege and also if you're wondering well how do i get all the resources for this how um how do i replenish the resources well if you go on your map really quick right if you scroll over any of the towns, you can actually see if their uh, chest is full or not. As you can see, this town right here, the village this chest village is, is full. Peace for now. Okay. Let us hope they avoid the piglins' hungry eyes. Let's see if we have actually have anything in here. As you can see, even though it wasn't full yet, we got 290 uh, stone. Usually, if the if it says village chest is this full, village is at peace okay, for now. relax, slow down. Let us hope they avoid the piglins' hungry eyes. Great. So if you scroll over and you see the village chest is full, this usually means that you are going to get literally close to a thousand wood and a, and a thousand stone, which is all you really need to build a bunch of towers. You only need wood and stone, okay? So if you're ever running out of resources, if you, need them, if you need them really quickly and you don't want to wait for them to actually build up as, you know, you gather resources, just go to one of the villages and usually you'll find a village. I, I already went to a couple of them because I've reinforced a lot of my uh, villages. But usually they do uh, fill up pretty quickly this if they are guarded. Okay, calm down. Let us hope they avoid the piglins' hungry eyes. And as you can see, this one has like this. Let me show you my other villages just so I can uh, show you that literally I do this for all the villages so they can be uh, safely guarded. Here's this village. I think this one's even more guarded. There you go. Look at this. I know it looks kind of not the most aesthetically pleasing, but it gets the job done. Okay, let me see. I think I reinforced this one as well. I think I still am missing one village that I have not reinforced. I think I might not have reinforced this village yet. Yeah, because this village has not gotten attacked yet. Let's go over here. Another one of my villages. There you go. Bunch of towers. I tried to do the wall thing, but really they, get, they start attacking the walls, like I said. And the towers can't really hit them if they're on the other side of the wall. Which is why I think the walls are kind of pointless. But, like I said, if you want the best uh, bang for your buck, literally just build a ton of arrow towers. And also, um, there are upgrades you can get over here. Let me see if I can find the exact one right over here. Uh, there are some upgrades that let you actually get, uh, what do you call it? Like auras for your towers. I think they're right over here. Yeah, battle drum. Increase the firing rate of nearby arrow towers. There you go. Uh, increase the firing range. I think there's one that does damage as well. But pretty much uh, late game, all you need to do um, once you get enough resources for these upgrades, just add a couple of these behind your towers. And again, the arrow towers should do just fine. That's going to do it for me, and I'll see you in the next one.